how to set up Facebook Pixel in Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how you can set up your Facebook Pixel within Shopify. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to Shopify.com then you are going to sign into your account. This is the first step. Now, the next step is to open up Meta Business Suite and connect your account to it. This is the second step. Simply go back here to Shopify and then we are going to type on the search bar right here, Facebook. Here I'm going to type Facebook. Then we are going to search in the Shopify App Store. It will show up a lot of options and integration. All you have to do is to click and choose this option, which is Facebook and Instagram. This is the Meta logo. This is the official app from Meta. I'm going to click on it. Simply, we are going to install it. Click on install. Here we have the, uh, the option to permit or make the permissions uh, that are going to install the app. Click simply on install. And here we have it. It will take some uh, couple seconds, then it will be shown up on the apps. Now we have the app set up. We are going to pin it to our store to make some adjustments later. Here we have the Facebook and Instagram app installed. I'm going to pin it here to the navigation, which is the sales channels. Now the first thing that you need to do is to click on here, get started. Now we have to connect our Facebook account click on connect account it will pop up a window showing your facebook account a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses facebook accounts pixels are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any personal uses click on continue if this is the right account it will show up the account right there here we have the account connected and the business assets is waiting for us to get set up. Here we have the business portfolio. As you can see, we have here a lot of Facebook pages and also Instagram. I'm going to select the Facebook page that I'm going to set. For example, here we have Smith's clothing. You can go ahead and select this page, click on connect, or you can go ahead with this one and that one also. Click on connect and it will be connected right here. Now, manage Facebook and Instagram data sharing preferences. We have here the share data, it is enabled. This is a must. We have here to choose the preference. We have three options, conservative, enhanced, and maximum. Remember, there is a rule right here the more option that or the more data it is gathered from your website, the more the pixel will be trained and will get the leads quickly. If you want to get the conservative, here we have the details. You can see here all the details that will be gathered. And for the enhanced, here we have some more details. We have customer name, email address, and a lot of information. For the maximum, it is very important to get all of the collective or all of this sensitive data about your clients. You can see here we have other options such as email, numbers, and address. I'm going to be using the enhanced. Click on save. Simply, we are going to see here the pixels. Connect a pixel to track customer behavior. You can go ahead and connect any pixel that you have, or you can create a new pixel. In my case, I am simply going to create a new one. Here we have the unique boutique DZ pixel. Will be created after submission. Click on confirm. And simply we are going to agree to the seller arrangement. Now submit for review. We'll wait for here a couple seconds until the finalizing uh, the channel startup or the setup. Now the shop on Facebook is in progress. Customize can browse 
or customers can browse your products on Facebook and are directed to your store to complete the purchase. This feature is not available yet because we have to finalize the channel setup. Here we have the publish products, product status, make products or products available to Facebook and Instagram. Click on here, simply click on publish products. It will open up another page for the uh, sales channels. Here we have to select all, include all products matching your search in uh, sales channels. You can go ahead and put this one. This is the Facebook and Instagram, include products. Now we are going to select the products and simply click on them. For example, for this uh, sweater, I'm simply going to modify the publishing. Click on the three dots, manage sales channels, and here we have to make sure to put here Facebook and Instagram. You have to set it, click on done, and you will be good to go. This is the product, how you can go ahead and make them to your store. I will go ahead and refresh that page and see the results. Now it will load up that page for the overview. And as you can see here, we have everything set up. Congrats. You are now selling on Facebook and Instagram. We have the shop on Facebook active. The shop on Instagram is active. And also you can go ahead and run ads on Facebook and Instagram. Now, the next thing that we need to do is to make sure that the pixel is set up and connected. Go to your business settings on the Meta Business Suit. As you can see here, we have the profile. You are going to select the portfolio. Then we are going to click on pixels. Normally, the pixel will be created. And here it is. As you can see, we have here the pixel. I'm going to open in Events Manager. It will show up the picture or the management of the events that are on the uh, on the uh, pixel right here. You can go ahead right here, then continue pixel setup. You can put some conversions API or MetaPixel. Send web events and parameters through the web browser your customers when you interact them with your website. Put this, connect, and here you can go ahead and install the code manually like that, add pixel to go to website or use partnership. If you use the partnership right here, we are going to see the Shopify. Go to Shopify here, install the Facebook and Instagram sales channel from your Shopify store, visit the admin panel and make sure you have the Instagram or sales channel installed. Choose how you are going to share data with Shopify. Here, choose maximum, click on get here. It will open up the store here. We have the store, click on it again, and we'll be guided to the store again. I will go back here, click on next. Here we have the website. We have to enter the URL simply. I'm going to open up my website and you will be good to go. Now we have the pixel. It is installed. I will, I'm going to wait right here and get the website URL right here. Copy it, go to the management right here, put it and send test traffic. Let's see here, we have the test traffic sent and here we have it. Now, let's go ahead right here, no activity yet. You can go ahead and set some activities. For example, you can go ahead and surf, click on any products. Then we are going to click on add to cart, for example, like that. And here we have it. These are the activities. Now it will detect the activities, then it will be showing the confirmation. As you can see right here, the verification is working correctly. It is active, click on next. And here we have the confirmation. You can go ahead and send test events in events manager and see here it is recommended. You can go ahead to the next step and create an ad. I'm first going to test some uh, here, some, as you can see here, we have the uh, website activities. I'm going to refresh. If you do some activities on your website uh, or if someone 
is going on your website you can go ahead and see their activities right here and it will show up a some status or some events that will be added right here for example added visited the shop uh, made a research or made some add to cart options and etc here we have everything set up the pixel is set up right here we have the behavior will be tracked and it is connected to our store and here we have it when you simply confirm this click on finish and here we go that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and see you soon on the next one